Santa Barbara, Michigan. from Shumash Casino. But yesterday we didn't show the, um, the buffet. I mean, it was really good. Typical, well not typical, it was actually quite good because they had seafood, or you can eat seafood, or you can eat steak I don't care about, but for other people they might. Um, they had everything, and it was only 25 bucks. And then last night in the casino, you won, what, 50? 50 bucks. I won 60. So uh, they pay for that. Yeah, so we pay for our buffet because it's only twenty five dollars. So yeah, so the casino buffet for dinner and breakfast, basically. Yeah, so pretty good deal. And we didn't bet our own money. Yeah, zero dollars. It was all, dollars. It was all in free play. We didn't put yeah. down anything. Pretty and I broke good. and I broke even on roulette. So mm -hmm. yeah. So now we're going to the Danish town. Finally, yes. this is all screen by the way. Don't worry. Let's go. Yeah, and we have a beautiful view from our balcony. Bye, Shumash Casino. Bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Danish sausage and look at these pancakes, Danish style. They fall off the freaking plate. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. Big in. It's not about personality matrix holes and charts. It's all about the bumps in your heart. Okay, so we just had breakfast. At Palace Pancakes. Those Danish pancakes were really good. Really good. I had Danish sausage and eggs. We I also, also shared had the pancakes. best waitress. Yeah, she was really good. I don't remember her name, but... No, but she was sketchers. White sketchers. And I gave her a good tip, and she earned it. Uh, so yeah, uh, nice breakfast, brunch, kind of. It's like 12 now. And uh, we're now walking down through Sol Vang? Sol Vang? I don't know. I'm not from here. <laughs> I don't speak Danish. And we just picked up uh, some Danishes at the bakery. There's gonna be lots of people like this taking pictures back here. We're gonna do that too because we're tourists. We're not ashamed. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be lots of fun. Yeah. And if you can't notice, if you don't notice, <laughs> the weather. Cold. <laughs> yeah, it's like 50 degrees. Feels colder yeah, and uh, like Denmark. in a Museo de Hans Christian Andersen, uh, the famous uh, fairy tale writer who's from Denmark. The and Patito Feo. Yes, the ugly duckling. Y la Sirenita. And the little mermaid. Um, uh, and it also rained for like three minutes. <laughs> yeah, while we were inside. But uh, that's what you just saw was inside that museum. Uh, why? Well, obviously because we're in a Danish colony village. Um, and uh, he's one of the most famous ever, and he was Danish, so it makes sense to have that. 
vamos a ver. Estamos caminando enfrente de la misión de Santa Inés. And um, this is another mission like the one we went to yesterday. Uh, not founded by Junipero because we can't. One, this one has like less budget. Yeah, it's not as nice. <laughs> it's, the tour is only five bucks, so if you want to see a mission, you can do this one oh, cheaper. It doesn't have the view to the ocean. Yeah, but it does have a nice view of the valley in the back where all the wineries are. the ocean. But there's wine. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now we're heading back to Solvang, Denmark. Oh. Fudge is pretty good. Had a sample. Yeah. <laughs> this weather is nuts. <laughs> it goes from raining to sunny to raining again to like cold and windy. It changes like every 10 minutes. But in Denmark, in California. Ah. ¿Qué pasó, mi amor? Where are you wet? It's raining. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. They're fighting, actually. The game. No, I have to explain that. Explain. Okay, so this is a typical pastry of Denmark. It's known as a Danish. Of cheese. This one is of cheese. You usually you can get cheese, apple, strawberries, cherry, blueberry. This one's of cheese, has a little bit of powder on it. Um, but this is a typical like pastry. There's tons of bakeries in this town. They just have to stop while it's raining and get one. So, what is it? So, these are the three founders of Solvang. Solvang, don't know how to pronounce it. Um, Solvang means sunny field sunny. in. Danish um, because they were well Danish. it's not very sunny they felt <laughs> well there were Danish settlers that were in the Midwest and they didn't like the weather there so ironically they moved to here they established a colony um, for Danish settlers they set up a Danish school um, back in 1911 um, and now we have this Danish village community that we have today um, of Solvang yep Oh, my friend. <laughs> so like we said, now it's raining again. It's been cloudy. Mm. Mm. We're about to go into the Yule house. It's a year-round Christmas shop. Christmas all year, yes. Here we go. All year. arrived to Guinea Vineyards and Olivia is about to do a tasting because I'm driving. My wife. Oli. Oli, mi amor. <laughs> How is it? Yeah. I'm just having the snacks. And it was free. 
Let's go. Okay, now we are at the Santa Barbara fish market. And look what we got. <laughs> we only eat on this one. <laughs> yes, we are a uh, food review um, channel now. So, <gasps> our nemesis is here. Piss off. Fucker. And